What's up guys, it's Typhoon Boom back once again bringing you another Spec Ops guide. This time the final mission in the Alpha Spec Ops suspension. Because I'm on a crazy ass bridge and I'm going to blow these motherfuckers up. Uh, so the guns I pick up that I like to use for uh, this mission are the TAR-21 holographic and the ACR with noob tubes and ACOG sights. I'll switch out my weapons eventually when I get further on in the mission, but uh, for your start setup, these are probably the two best weapons, unless you want to use a sniper rifle, in which case I'd swap out the ACR for the M21, although the noob tubes on the ACR are quite useful, so uh, just make your own decisions really on what weapons you want to use, it doesn't really matter, whatever guns you're good with is probably your best bet. Um, so basically, you've got to move from this end of the bridge to the other end killing everyone as you go and uh, just get to the other end basically uh, best way to do this is to stay behind the un the exploded cars make sure you're not standing behind an unexploded car because that will cause you a lot of frustration uh, if you die from an exploding car you're standing behind so as you can see here I've just done the first half which is the easy half. Um, when you get to this area the helicopter is going to spawn so what you want to do is get up top as fast as you can swap out your chosen weapon for uh, the RPGs and then fall back down here behind these exploded cars and wait for the helicopter to come round. You don't want to try and shoot it at this point because uh, you'll likely miss and waste your rockets you want to wait for the easy shot which is when it comes above you when it comes above you you can just shoot straight up and hit it in the, the blades of the helicopter and uh, the one shot will take it out straight away which is probably the easiest way to get the kills on it um, then of course you have the problem of all these crazy fools have rushed up to your position so you're gonna have to sit here for a little bit of time and just make sure you can clear out this area you don't want to go rushing up there and get overwhelmed straight away and have to retreat your best tactic is just to sit, poke, poke your head over the edge of this broken bridge section uh, use whichever gun you have, probably the one that's good at range so in this case the ACR because it's got an ACOG and it has low recoil you want to use your, your long range weapon to pick off all the enemies that rush at you and then once you feel confident enough that you've pushed them back far enough to move up to either the taxi or the the car in front of you then you can move up over this ledge you'll see in a minute I'll, des I'll decide that I've killed enough people and I can uh, safely move up without getting shot in the face which is a uh, probably the best scenario. Not getting shot in the face is always a good thing. Uh, so as you can see here I'm going to pick up my TAR-21 again I think in a minute. Oh, grenades. You have to watch out for those on veteran because they will actually rape you if you're anywhere near one. You don't want to be anywhere near those grenades. On regular you can just shrug them off as if they're throwing rocks at you but, uh, but on veteran it's not the case and you're just going to get raped if you don't avoid those grenades. Don't try and throw them back though because the amount of times I've died picking up a grenade to try and throw it back and ended up just blowing up in my face uh, is too many to count and it's not, not fun at all oh and I uh, contradict myself there and throw back a grenade, that's great to be fair it did land right on top of me so uh, that was probably the best option um, so as you can see here I'm slowly moving up the, uh, there's, there is quite a large amount of enemies that spawn here but you want to just uh, be patient with it make sure you don't rush too far ahead because you'll likely get shot in the back because this uh, mission does have a lot of guys spawning with shotguns and RPGs and whatnot that just uh, pretty much will rape you if you're not being careful I love how cowardly these terrorists are as well you put a couple of bullets into them and they just leg it the other way check there's nobody behind me 
sort my RPGs out for an AK because I don't need the uh, RPGs anymore. But I'll decide to noob tube over the top. This is usually quite a good strategy if you uh, if you want to get some easy kills, just blowing up the cars down the other end of the bridge. Oh crap! Almost died there. So you want to blow up all the cars down the other end of the bridge because that will uh, usually get you some free kills. In a minute I'll find a foul with an ACOG site and uh, pick that up because I realise that I've not got enough range here to uh, to get get any kills but I have a, have a really good position set up. I try and take out this RPG guy, I think I miss. I'm just uh, decide I'm going to move up now because these guys are being irritating. So pull round to this flank here. As you can see I'm just moving from burnt out car to burnt out car. If there's a car that's not burnt out that you uh, need to move to, best your best bet is just to uh, grenade it or throw C4. And, oh, I'm not even sure how I survived that. It was a direct hit with a uh, RPG and I still survived. But that was really lucky. So as you can see here, I didn't want to risk going near that car and getting blown up, so I just decided to uh, play the cautious game and blow it up myself. So as you can see here, three stars, nice quick completion on veteran. Well, quick, seven minutes thirteen. Hope that helps you guys. Uh, hope the little tactics helped you to uh, be successful in that if you're finding it difficult. So please rate, comment, subscribe. Bye.